the tiger world, like Hollywood, but better. I'm so happy, and I'm looking forward to meet this guy. Oh my God, he makes me sprinkle. He's amazing. I'm ready for him. I'm ready. I did. So everybody tells me that Portland is the friendliest kind of community in the world. It is. Actually, it's so friendly. Yes, 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 yes. yes. that actually there are two guys here that each one of them have a belong at the same night and they're roommates. <laughs> That's how friendly it is. That's the spirit, okay? So, I was talking to my non tamil friends, okay? And I was explaining them that a tamil festival is a place like this, you know, where people get together to dance and to hang out and to watch performances and, the, you know, and they take lessons and the tamil teachers were like, stop! They feel the candle, okay? <laughs> and you know what? Personally, I'm going to take only super advanced lessons. Because, you know, after all, if I can do the difficult, the easy, it's easy, right? <laughs> so, in this sense, everything is about a follower and a leader. And of course, I'm a follower. I'm an excellent follower. But I anticipate too much sometimes, you know? I anticipate. <laughs> That's my drama, but you know why? Because I am an independent, successful woman. <laughs> Conviction, hope, dreams. I have my own voice, okay? So I don't surrender. I don't surrender. <laughs> I will. I will surrender to him. Oh, yeah. I will surrender. <laughs> you know why? Because he makes me tremble. It makes me sweat inside, outside, everywhere. He's like the Hugh Hefner of Tango. And I'm ready to be his Tango buddy. So, leaders, let me share a secret with you, okay? It's not about steps, okay? Or a step, for those who don't speak English, okay? about basics. Because there's nothing in this, in this world, in this tiny world without the basics. Nothing. And this girl, in the middle of the lesson, asked, how many embellishments can we do? And I thought, that is so stupid to ask. Two, one for each leg. I mean, it's not rocket science, right? Okay. So, anyhow, ladies, everything as I told you, everything's about connection and shoe. Right? that I bought somewhere and they're special because they're good for boleros and for guanchos and for molinota and for tacados and burritos and everything. I'm very covered, okay? So, when you didn't notice me, because I'm very discreet, okay? So, I was here already a week ago and I was sitting at the Milonga, minding my own business, and I met Alex Craig. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> He's a musician, a composer, a dancer, an instructor. He plays the bandolion and the accordion at the same time. <laughs> this guy is great. And you know when you have a connection with someone, you know? So after four hours that we were talking, how I discovered tango, and what do I think about tango, where's tango going, and about the book that I'm going to write about tango, and what should we do with the cactus? in Mexico that are dying, <laughs> Alex cares. He listens. Who, you know, Alex is the best. He's my best friend. He's going to be my mentor. And he has always orchestra typical. He's going to be performing tomorrow. He's amazing. Alex! Alex! So, I was there with Alex. I was with Alex about my trip to Argentina. Okay? And I was there like for 10 days. And of course, I ate empanadas and the beginning and the stage. And also, I was, I was dancing. And I, I danced like two and a half tandas. 
the whole train. I didn't make it to the third one. My taxi dancer, he slid the disc. I'm gonna have to take him to the hospital. I'm gonna have to take him to the hospital. In a taxi! <laughs> that was a bad joke, shit. I'm sorry. So ladies, tell me something. You know what? When I was in Argentina, I took like three lessons, okay? And the first lesson was with this girl that she made me walk back and forth for an hour. I didn't understand that. She made me walk for an hour. And when I was born, I was an early walker. And I was walking. That was for five months. When I was five months, I was already walking. So I didn't understand that lesson. Besides, the room was not even decorated. <laughs> I took the lesson with this guy with a mustache. Ladies, let me share something with you. Men with mustache, they dance better. They have, they have a better balance. <laughs> up doing some connection exercise. <laughs> okay, 45 minutes of racing with the maestro. Oh yes. Oh, I have to the maestro every 10 minutes. Oh yes. But then it was like every every second maestro, maestro, maestro. And then I forgot because you know what happens in the A? Stays in the A. <laughs> I said, oh, I'm not the BA. I was in the A and I'm allowed to say BA because once you're there you're allowed to say it. It's very well explained at the TGBUETLPE. Tango basic US guide for tango lovers of the USA planet Earth. <laughs> and it was written by Clay Nelson like 25 years ago before even tango existed, okay? So, just in case anybody wants to dance with me, anybody, I just want to let you know that I took lessons there strictly, I do strictly traditional Milonguero, Tangero, or Richero tango. <laughs> because it was in the syllabus that I took over there, okay? So, ladies, let me share something with you, okay? I was there on a Tuesday night, which is the place to be in PA. It's called El Beso. It's a milonga, okay? And that's the place to be. And let me give you a little tip. I made a reservation over there, like, four months before. And when I got there, my, my table was not ready. I didn't understand it. Second, I ordered orange juice and I asked the waitress, is it fresh? And she looked at me like, what are you talking about? So I didn't get that part. But also, when I was sitting there, I was waiting for the cabestel, okay? And I was looking, and none of the ladies were watching if they were being cabestel. And it was like this, like an oscillating fan. I felt, I felt lost. I was lost. I felt like Oliver Coulter trying to play basketball. I mean, the guy is shorter than February. Come on. But after four and a half hours sitting there and like three gallons of orange, this true me Longuero kind of sailed me and I thought, this is my chance to practice my bolero. But then it, it, it no, the, the place was closing and the guy was telling me, get out of here! Get out of here! Whoa. So, anyhow, we ended up, I, I ended up having breakfast with a bunch of milonga wearers over there because that's the way to finish a milonga. Oh, you have breakfast, or you go to sleep, or you have sex, or you go directly to your computer to write in your blog about the freaking DJ. So anyhow, I was there, and the, and the guy at the table looked at me and he said, Marco, remember, tango is a sad feeling that we dance. And that touched me. <laughs> it moved me inside, everywhere. It made sense. But it's so addictive. I find myself doing steps at the supermarket, with the dentist, at the dentist, someone else's dentist. I think dentists are great dancers. They're all in the wrist. And I'm waiting for him. Oh my God, I'm waiting for this guy that I'm gonna dance. I hope he comes. I'm waiting for him. He's amazing. I'm ready to do him. I mean, to do it. <laughs>